A couple of days ago, Ukrainians managed to capture a Russian T-90M tank in the Kharkiv region. The tank appears to be in near perfect condition, except for the fact that it has been detracted, which is probably the reason as to why it was abandoned by the Russians. Now, we will take a look at some pictures and videos of the tank, see if we can analyze anything from them and the situation in general. First of all, the tank has the Nakitka cover. For those who are not aware, Nakitka is supposed to reduce the thermal signature of the tank and has so far in this conflict only been seen on the T-90M tanks. And this one is no exception. Judging by the new cover for the main gun sight, this tank appears to be produced after the war has started. And according to some sources, this tank in particular was delivered to the Russian armed forces in May of this year. So this tank is practically brand new. But so far from all these pictures, there is nothing to be concluded that we already did not know. There is armored cover all around the tank, the commander has a monitor for the battle management system and another for thermal, as well as a control for the remote weapon station and so on. The most interesting thing appears to be the driver's station, because we got to see the gears of the tank, where there is only one reverse gear. But we already knew this. Last year some videos of the production of the vehicle were published, and we got the look inside the hull, where we can also clearly see only one reverse gear, and of course the absence of the switch for the reversible transmission. But this does not exactly tell us what the reverse speed of the tank is. T-72 has one reverse gear, and has 4 km per hour reverse speed. Meanwhile, T-80 also has one reverse gear, but has 10 km per hour reverse speed. But, fortunately, I believe we got our proof that the reverse speed is indeed unchanged from the old T-90 tanks, which also have 4 km per hour reverse speed. A day after T-90M's capture, a video was published by Ukrainians showing a battle where Russians are operating with a T-90M tank. In the video, the tank is mislabeled as a T-72, but they managed to recognize it as a T-90M. If you look closely, you will see that the grass-looking parts of the Nakitka cover are clearly visible. The remote weapon station is also occasionally reflecting in the sun. And the fact that there is no gap around the mantlet tells us that the shield around the mantlet is present, so all of that pretty much confirms that this is a T-90M tank. Now, there is a short part of the video where the tank is seen to be reversing. And yeah, it is really slow. Really, really slow. The tank crew then has to turn the tank around in order to retreat. So this video pretty much confirms that the T-90M retains the horrible reverse speed of its predecessors, which is a big problem. The tank has to turn its rear to the enemy in order to retreat, which makes the heavy front armor useless in such instances, and a very expensive machine can be easily lost. And we know what happens when a T-90M gets hit in the back. By the way, the T-90M from that video does not get destroyed. Russians retreat after artillery starts shelling them. In a video published by a Ukrainian tanker that goes by the name Shawshank Redemption here on YouTube, we can see that the tank is being hauled away by a captured T-72B3 tank. In this video, someone asked in the comments as to why Russians didn't just throw grenades inside the tank to damage it and Shawshank made a good point that it is incredibly dangerous. The tank is full of ammunition and could kill anyone around if the ammunition explodes. Of course, there are videos where the grenade is successfully thrown inside without anything happening, but look at this video for example. This guy throws a grenade inside and the ammunition starts cooking off. This cook-off could have easily been an explosion and would have killed the guy. I would also really recommend Shawshank's content if you like tanks, even if you can't understand them, there is a lot of good footage. Now, Russians could have taken some stuff out of the tank perhaps, but we don't know the circumstances under which the tank was lost. Maybe they had to leave it in a rush. Maybe they found out Ukrainians are closing in. All kinds of things could have happened. The thing that people have asked me the most after this tank was captured is if NATO would like to get their hands on it and would they learn anything if they analyze it. And to be honest, I don't know. The things I know are publicly available, hence why I know them. I don't work for Urova Gonzavod, I'm not even Russian. I know that I would definitely want to get a look around it and tinker with it, and I'm pretty sure NATO would want to tinker with the tank too, maybe just a bit to make sure there is nothing they don't already know, but I'm just speculating about it. The fact is, I don't know. But that would be all for now. If there are any updates, I will try to let you know. 
If you like my content, you can support me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.